check out that magic. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, mine's straight, regular. <laughs> the strong stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I got my audio issue. All right. So, yeah, Stacy Mildenberger here. Me and Stacy um, are similar in a lot of ways. Um, we, both, we both work with customers to help with teams adoption. Um, we actually both co-present in um, Fridays, 11 a.m. Eastern, Cute for Teams, not Coffee for Teams, but Cute for Teams, Champions Using Teams Effectively. So it's me and Stacy and, and our other colleague, Nash. We do that every week. It's like office hours for customers to come, for you out there to come and ask questions about teams and geek out with us. Um, but more importantly, we are both geeks. Stacy and I, and uh, we geek out on things, including the Surface Duo, which is what we'll talk about today. We're talking about Teams and um, and uh, my uh, Teams and mobile, for which uh, Stacy and I are fans of a specific mobile device, the Surface Duo. I, so when it came out, I was already interested in it, but I I was like him hawing, and I think Stacy just dove right in. Uh, I did. And, yeah. <laughs> Guilty. And then, right. And then convinced me how cool it was. And now, now there's no looking back, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we, as we were just chatting, we were like, that, that might be cool to um, talk about duo and teams. Cause you know, um, uh, not, maybe, maybe you haven't used a duo or maybe you haven't used a mobile device, like in a teams meeting or to, or to do teams. So we thought we, we'd talk through that. Um, and I think you've been having pretty good success with yours, right? Oh yeah. I, um, I fell in love with the duo, the, the form factor with the two screens, um, just has made, it, I don't know. I, I came from the iOS world. I had been a iPhone user for gosh, decades. It felt like, mm -hmm. and I always had to have the latest and greatest. And so that's why I jumped in with this with two feet because I felt like it really was a unique design. And it, I, I, I thought it showed a lot of promise. Um, and coming from iOS, I had to make the Android switch. So yeah. I wanted to do it for a, for a like really cool, um, kind of bleeding edge device. And I really saw that in right. this duo. Um, and I, I, even the first gen, very quickly, I, adopting it wasn't even that as hard as I thought it would be coming mm -hmm. from um, the Apple universe over to uh, Android and and just getting used to the way that the the systems was were was laid out was a lot harder than even just figuring out the, the how to utilize the two screens side by side because right. that felt more natural to me than shrinking a, an app out of the way and then finding the other one somewhere else and mm -hmm. then pulling it up and then crawling through whatever in that other app you needed to reference. Having the two side by side was such a um, eureka moment because mm -hmm. I, I don't know about your brain or dude's brains, okay? <laughs> but women's brains are here, there, everywhere, all the time. Like I'm thinking of what my kids are doing, what I have at work, what my customers need, uh, what my house needs, what my dog needs, mm -hmm. what I need. There's always input, right? There's always stuff to decide. There's always stuff to figure out. Some of which has to be figured out in the next hour mm -hmm. and some has to be figured out for next week and some has to be figured out for next year, but right. it's always cranking in my brain. Um, and having those apps be able to be side by side, like I can look at my calendar while I'm looking through my email for that mm. that teacher email that I got right. <laughs> that I got yeah. last week that I, I just realized I hadn't addressed. You know, those <laughs> things are so easy to to search up side by side and get things done. Um, and the same goes for work life. Um, having teams and being able to chat 
while I might be texting with a close customer or texting with um, my sales team or my uh, support team and responding via Teams and keeping track of those conversations in separate places and unifying them into Teams to make sure everybody knows all the communication points that they need to know. Um, it, it's really just been a total game changer and I will never go back. Yeah. Even if they, even if for some reason they go, oh, but you can have this one screen that, you know, you can collapse or something. I'm like, nope, I, I got to have two. Right. I need, <laughs> I need both of these. Yeah. I need one for each eye. <laughs> right. And I, I, I did see an article. And in fact, I'm going to put a little demo up on the screen here. But I did see an article about this whole two screen concept being easier on the brain. And I'm, I'm oh, with yeah. you. It, it's, it, there is something to about the productivity that, that is uh, nice with that two screen. So anybody that hasn't seen the, the Duo before, uh, there is this uh, site, it's uh, explorersurface.com. You can actually actually look at the whole line of uh, Surface devices we have, including the, the Duo. So it's here, and so this is kind of what we're talking about. And, you know, this is a good uh, dis distinction here, right? To, uh, you know, some, some of you may be used to foldable devices, and that's really, uh, t you know, um, taking, you know, getting one bigger screen. So this this is a little different in that it is uh, two distinct screens, and depending on the app you're using, um, they they may it may interact with the device and, and recognize there's two screens and do some things differently. So, um, but yeah, this is uh, the Surface Duo and. And Stacy, what you may not know about this thing, I I saw is that there's some cool demos in here including some teams ones um so as this loads you'll see it actually tries to um do a cute little demo with this thing so if we explore here and i'm going to click ahead because awesome. yeah it takes you over to this thing and starts to show you what it looks like to be in teams and uh be on the device so this this person is sharing their uh powerpoint to uh, surface hub they got the pen ready to go so you can if, if you did if y'all out there didn't know you can write with the surface pen surface slim pen or the or the older pens on here and you can see here the the uh, video of the participants on one screen with the uh content being shared on the other so this is a cool site if you were you know interested in you know diving more into this this is a cool site to go click around in but i just thought i'd show that um you know a little bit there because that's some pretty cool stuff um and you know and i and why stacy and i are such such geeks about it um it's just it's just pretty cool i i, I was wondering like what our what my favorite feature um might be now i'm I'm a newer to it than Stacy, so she's probably got some 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 favorites already in mind. Um, I actually just got the Duo Two a couple weeks ago. Actually, I had the one for a while. Um, right now, I think uh, the gestures I'm really into, um, and I think I like uh, also you know in terms of Teams using it as a second device. You know, so uh, you may know that you can join a Teams meeting and then. On another device it will know that you're in a meeting and let you you know say either transfer your meeting to that device or add that device and i like adding the duo as a second device because then i can have a whole other screen to see chat or something like that so that's been uh pretty nice and again yeah that form factor is just great um having a little mini yeah. computer in your pocket i don't know if you've got a favorite feature uh of yours well, I, I really do love the fact that, and this could be, you know, Android generally, but right. the fact that I can um, share a PowerPoint into like from my mobile device and have it um, have some of the presenter tools that I'm used to while I'm at my desktop is just phenomenal. And then um, absolutely having I like that feature too, where you said you can join with both devices because technically this gives you four screens oh, right? yeah. or three screens, right? If yeah. you have just, if you're at your desk and you have your um, main laptop device and then you join with your Surface Duo, now you have three technically. So you could be looking at your, um, 
your presentation on your bigger screen or your your standard screen and then have um, chat and video side by side on your duo uh, so you can see other people's faces you can catch their reactions um, and then of course monitor chat which is always uh, something as a presenter that can be a challenge but um, even if you just have uh, a simple old iOS device, <laughs> mm -hmm. you can do that too. You can do the, um, the join at both devices, your, what your, your main device is plus your mobile and have that ability to monitor chat. But I think the Surface Duo just takes it up a notch in that um, you have both panels that you can utilize in that same Teams meeting. Yeah. Um, and it really brings a lot of power that way. Yeah. And like you said, this is a this is really a mobile conversation. We happen to be speaking about a specific mobile device, but teams on a mobile is is, you know, is a concept, right? Especially, you know, with Surface Duo be an Android, but you got iOS as well. Um, and so with that, though, does come some some differences um, just based on the form factor. And I mean, it, and it's just um, it is designed differently. So, um, you know, like one thing I had to get used to is just buttons being in different places, right? Um, right. There's only so much real estate. And so um, uh, I think, you know, for like the left rail buttons would be down in the, you know, the bottom rail, let's say. Um, uh, and there's not a lot of room for overflow. So you're going to very quickly uh, need those three dots to, you know, see additional, I think a, a tray slides up. So, um, you know, there are some differences. I don't know if you got a particular difference that, you know, sticks out to you. But for me, I know that that, you know, just the rearrangement of things, um, you know, is one immediate thing that if you're trying to be a mobile Teams user, that's the first thing you got to be ready for is it's going to look a little different, um, you know, than, than what you see on the desktop. Uh, I'm trying to think of other key differences. Yeah, and your your layout here in our in our pictures does a good job of showing that because you have your um, Teams meeting uh, layout here for our, our images. You mm -hmm. can see that that toolbar for the meeting controls is across the bottom. Right. Um, and it, it, it does a good job of keeping up with even the presenter in that situation or the organizer, I should say, because those three dots um, can give you access to meeting options. Like I was mobile. I actually um, went out of town with my husband to uh, California a couple weeks ago. And while we were there, I realized that I was the organizer for a training session that one of my counties was going to do. And as the organizer, I was going to need to start the recording and I was going to need to open the lobby. And um, I was actually like out of the hotel room, away from my surface, um, but I joined the meeting on my Surface Duo. I hit those three dots and I was able to do everything I needed to do to manage that and make sure that the recording was handled appropriately and um, that I opened the lobby a couple minutes in because you know the majority of the folks were there and we didn't need to hear that beep beep when new people joined and we were able to just sling open the lobby uh, and it was just kind of a an eye opening even for me it was just kind of eye opening that yeah you know I can do those things even if I'm not sitting at my desk or have my full uh, Teams desktop client available mm -hmm. because I have the power um, of those tools in my mobile device and the fact that I was able to watch chat on one side and have those three dots available yeah. to access on the other side meant that um, I really was a, a, a much better participant in that meeting than I even probably needed to be just because I could. Yeah, I think that's when you're winning is whenever your mobile experience makes you kind of feel empowered to still do what you would have done at your desktop or or when you don't necessarily feel totally crippled, right? Which I think right. Teams has done a good job, whether it's Duo or, or just mobile in general, there's enough functionality there that I can join that meeting and still feel like I'm able to engage. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not just like totally just like all my features are gone, right? All the features are there. Like you said, you were able to do standard management kind of things to be able to present from your phone, all of that stuff. It, I think that's when you feel like you're winning is when, hey, as far as you know, on the call, you, you, how do you even know I'm mobile? Because, you know, 
I'm rocking and rolling right. like I would do any any other meeting. So I th- I always think that's a good sign that your mobile experience is matching or keeping up at least with the, the full desktop experience. Yeah, I agree. It, it definitely uh, was clutch for me mm-hmm. <laughs> that time. But now that I know that I have that capability, um, it, it takes the weight off because I know it will be there the next time. If I, you know, am human and forget something, yeah. uh, I have the ability to just dial in and take care of business from wherever I am, which is just wonderful um, with everything that we all adults uh, juggle these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was trying to think of some unique ways that, um, you know, we, we work with our duo and teams or mobile and teams. I know um, our customers often come up with unique ways to use it. Now, this isn't really a unique way, but, you know, one of the things that made mobile come to life for me is just when people uh, start up a group chat or a group call and I'm getting it on in my pocket, you know, and I'm joining a group call, you know, from a, from a mobile device, there's something about that that you know, getting the notifications and still feeling connected to everything. Um, now I know not everybody wants that, right? I'm away from my desk. I want to detach, but in those cases when I do wish that while I am walking down the street from one customer to the next, that I still know notifications are going to come. If somebody starts up a call, I can take that call, and full video, and and I've had that happen a few times. And again, those are just the times when I feel like yes, I'm winning, you know, the device is keeping me productive, keeping me connected the way I want to be connected. Um, and then of course, helping me disconnect when I want to as well, in terms of turning off, I can turn off those notifications, but, um, but yeah, getting, getting a group chat call or something like that is, it's kind of been a, a unique way to join and, and certainly, uh, customers in the field and whatnot are, are, are coming up with ways. I don't know if you've heard of ways you, either you've you've been using it uniquely or or your customers and you heard any good stories about that um i don't know let me think about it i'll tell you i feel like a little obligation to be an evangelist for this device because i feel like it's really underrepresented out in the world hmm. um it gets a lot of attention when i pull it out of my pocket and people who maybe don't know me already or haven't seen me carry one of these things since i've been carrying it since it launched um there's a lot of like oh what's that and i get the opportunity to to just kind of flip it open and say you know this is the surface duo it's uh, built by Microsoft and you can uh, do everything in the phone and and like you're displaying there with it flipping around Mm -hmm. that's one of the first questions I get they're like what do you mean that's your phone (laughs) and then I just fold it back and put it up to my ear and they're like whoa so it does all of that Um, and I think they they the initial reaction when they see it come out of my pocket is that it's some sort of mini computer right because it it has the um, the flip up where you could make it look like a little mini laptop. Um, but then when they realize that I'm texting and I'm taking a phone call, uh, it's like this eureka moment. Plus, the price point really isn't that bad. Mm-hmm. It's it's right there on Especially par. For maybe what it's even doing. yeah, maybe even a little bit more affordable than some of the other leading um, mobiles right now. Um, and I just, I feel like I, ha- I have to be an advocate for it, but I really, really have to be because I um, have found it to be so essential and to solve several of the problems I had with just navigating on the single screen because I use two screens uh, professionally at my desk. I'm just used to being able to have two screens open and and active um so it definitely fed that need to so i don't know if i answered your question but i i wanted to sneak in that mention about the price point because it does seem to um be getting even more affordable as we're releasing uh the version two yeah. um so well, that's know, always exciting you know, to me i know we were talking one time about um you know like uh folks who might t- be taking a meeting literally out in the field, like out, uh, say you're work working transportation or something, and you're out at the bridge, right? And, and so again, not not specific to to, to duo, but um, being able to turn that camera on, flip to the, I guess that'd be the rear camera, 
and then the, everyone in the meeting being able to see what you see right you can show them whatever you know you want to show you're fully engaged in that meeting so it's almost like taking the, everyone in the meeting to you know out of the office and to to, to where you are um right with that with the high quality of cameras on these devices these days i mean you can, you're watching somebody in full hd quality you know yeah. so um, yeah and you don't always have the expert in whatever it is that needs to be tackled mm -hmm. on the in the field with you and I, I just think that that's kind of a eureka moment for um mankind <laughs> really right. and the fact that we have um so many more uh so much more access to the internet i know that that microsoft has a lot of fantastic uh investment going into bringing um, internet at, into those areas that are a little underserved in the technology sector and, and making sure that internet is available so that, you know, those field workers in, in even rural areas have a way to get to the experts and to have um, expert opinions on something that's broken or something that could be run more efficiently or some, um, key piece of equipment that needs to be deployed or or uh, corrected i just think that that's phenomenal or even just like um imagine an emergency situation where you need you know a, a specialist or some sort of physician just the ability to call that person in from around the world mm -hmm. <laughs> to weigh in on the situation at hand and to guide um those people who are there in person on the best next action to right. resolve whatever the situation is i think is just so exciting yeah and yeah, yeah. the the duo two um I, I know that many of the complaints with the original duo had to do with the camera mm. the mm. duo two's camera situation is uh night and day from duo one and it certainly when i upgraded to duo two i was very excited about that um being able to have a rear camera and a front camera mm -hmm. in this device has been uh, really cool. Uh, the first gen, for those of you who did, didn't know necessarily that there was even a, a first gen and a, and a second generation device, the first generation device just had the one camera and you had to flip it around uh, in order to shoot out. This has a front facing and a rear facing camera and uh, the quality of the images that it takes are even vastly improved beyond uh, just the fact that you have both cameras now, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. The one, uh, one other thing I just wanted to say about really mobile and teams um, that I've seen happen often is just remember that that mobile device can be a lifesaver if something goes, you know, something goes awry with your desktop setup or whatever, mm -hmm. whether it's mm -hmm. an internet, right? So remember that you've got a perfectly, you know, good way to connect on your phone and maybe use your data plan instead of the internet that just went down at your house. Um, right. You know, uh, maybe your camera on your desktop isn't the greatest, but you've got this 12 me megapixel camera, on, you know, on your phone. So, you know, just just kind of remembering that if we if we've all got a phone right, then we've all got a second way to experience teams or join a team's meeting, um, uh, you know, with that device, either as a backup, either as a work around something that's going wrong or maybe you know you might start to pref to prefer it you know it just depends on your setup but i, I just think a lot of people a lot of us will forget that right and mm -hmm. oh something just went wrong with my desktop pc i well can't join this meeting well no that's not true right just pull your phone out and you can be rocking and rolling so um, yeah in 5g in five yeah right, <laughs> right yeah which for many you know depending on who you are i mean it might be better than your home <laughs> connection right. so so yeah, that's 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 cool. You're, yeah, you're right because the Duo Two is a 5G device uh, versus the One. So if so if anybody wasn't doing a Duo because it they thought it didn't have 5G, though, you know that that's that's fixed. We're we're good to go there. So yeah, yeah. So that's good stuff. Yeah, like I say, me and Stacy you know, geek out about the, these kind of things all the time, and um, yeah, and so I have her to blame for my additional investments and. <laughs> all this duo so, stuff 
<laughs> there wasn't a picture of the pen on the phone in that demo, was there? Not like connected to it. If you're if you're talking about like putting it right on, on yeah, this. yeah, they didn't show so just, that. Oh, there you go. I just Let thought I'd switch show back. Hold on. Uh, you? There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you all, um, just in case you're curious, this is the, let's see if I can get it to show up. Yeah, put it right it in on front your face. Of me and, yeah. yeah, if I hold it in front of me, it'll work. Um, so this is the Surface Pen, and it has a, a pretty strong magnet. This is a um, the pen cover that you can purchase to overlay on your Duo, and it charges my pen, so I can pop the pen off and take some quick notes right here in either OneNote or just the, the regular notes app that comes with the operating system. And that's really been clutch too. I've had a couple of opportunities to whip out the pen and take down some quick notes when my brain I know will not remember unless I write it down. Um, and it, I, I have even talked to my, my husband carries one of these too because he had to, um, he had to see for himself how my adjustment from leaving the Apple universe was. And um, I lived and had some successes to show for it. So he followed suit and now he has his pen on and pen cover and Surface Duo 2. And um, being able to take those notes, you know, inking is where it's at. You and I have always kind of gotten into that. And so I couldn't, I couldn't adopt the Duo 2 without having that option as well. And so yeah. that'll be your next investment, I'm sure, when you can find one in stock somewhere. Yeah, the, yeah. so I'm, I'm still waiting on the, the pin cover. Um, in the meantime, I found a different, uh, I don't even know where my device is I was gonna grab, but I found a different cover. But you're right, the pin, if you oh, are- a cool one. I know, and, that, and it, yes, this is that's what this whole thing is about. And I don't even have my device around. That's crazy, <laughs> but um, but yeah, the pen for you know those that watch me know I'm a big into pen, and if you are big into pen and are using pen on like on other Surface devices, you're not gonna miss much coming to the Duo. It, uh, obviously, I open up OneNote and do my handwriting there. In fact, I was just at a customer meeting a couple of days ago taking all my notes uh, with handwriting on the Duo. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a smaller screen, but from in terms of uh, smooth writing and everything, uh, it gets it done. So I was I was very impressed um, with such a small device still having such a premium writing experience. So that's that's why, to your point, when you start talking about the cost, when you start adding up the, what it what it does and how well <laughs> it does it, you know, it starts to starts to make sense, especially, you know, I mean, Anyway, we're we're not here to sell it, but but we we do <laughs> it's hard like not it. To, I know. <laughs> Once you get talking about it, like yeah. I said, I feel like I've, I'm a walking advocate for it, which I would not be if it wasn't helping me. Right. But it has absolutely been um, something that I I don't see myself being without now yeah. that I've had it. So yeah, absolutely cool. Well, Stacy, I appreciate you joining me. If for nothing else, then I don't have to talk to myself here yeah <laughs> I got well to talk to. i enjoy listening when you're talking to yourself so you <laughs> feel free to keep doing that but i am happy to be here and honored to have been asked and looking forward to um more opportunities to collaborate yeah. with you always yeah we'll have to do this again thanks well, for having me yeah well i appreciate this everybody i'm glad you uh joined or or watched later on demand and um uh you know we're at the bottom of the hour here so we'll we'll catch you next time it's been me and stacy it's been coffee with the cowbell and uh glad you joined us thanks a lot